Well, hello guys, this is Brandon back from Little NC Farmer coming to you again here today. Today I'm here at my home and uh, working in my little garden here. We've got some potential for some severe weather coming in this evening, but the next two days uh, we've got a potential of getting some significant rainfall. So what I thought I would do today is while I can get in here with the tiller, I'm gonna put my middle buster on it. And guys, my plan is, is to, with my tiller, break it open kind of like you would if you were using a turning plow. Now you've heard me say before that here in this clay is a lot different than if you're living in a place where you have a sandy, loamy, limey type soil. And guys, with clay, if you break it and plow it open while it's heavy or wet the ch you st and if it doesn't get some rainfall on it shortly thereafter it will actually if it sits in the sun like that it's basically the same principle as pottery it will actually bake it and then guys it'll be nothing but brick so if you've got red clay like we have a lot of around here you've got to actually treat it carefully and if you're going to plow it, in other words, it needs to be dry. And if it's not dry, you need to plow it just shortly before rainfall. I would say no more than eight hours before rainfall. You definitely wouldn't want to plow it and let it lay in the hot sun because it will bake those clods. They'll be baked just like rock. So spin you around here. I'll show you what it looks like right now. I just went over it with my mower and i knocked down some of the high stuff some of the greens that i had over here you can see there i've burnt some debris and stuff out of the yard right there matter of fact i pulled up my okra stalks and just piled those up burnt those right there too so i'm gonna get the tiller i gotta put that middle buster on and i'm gonna get the tiller out here and go ahead
Well, you can see that's brought the juice out of me. It's got me to sweating. Of course, believe it or not, last time I looked, it was 77 degrees outside. Uh, it was 49, I think, this morning. So, anyway, it's down in the 40s, upper 40s for the low. Uh, it's crazy weather. And then over the weekend, we had frost. And so, that's it is what it is. But Lord willing, guys, we'll let this get rained on. And what it'll do, it'll kind of just mellow it out. I could go over that. Believe it or not, uh, that is really not in bad shape, considering. So, but now that it's broken open like it is, that tends to help it dry a little faster. So, I'll let it lay out. And if it gets, you know, if we get some rain on it, will be great. And, because it's, I, I've got a while yet before I'll try to plant this. Uh, usually don't plant nothing here till around May, along in the 1st of May. And it just seems like it does better here. Now, down in the country where you've seen me working, things are a little more wide open. They get a little more sun, and it's just a tad bit further south, so... I can get away with planting a little earlier down there, even though they're not but 20, 25 minutes away from here. But guys, hopefully we're gonna plant some stuff here. I see I got a little mocking bird over there. She's looking for worms in there. That, that ground's just full of them. This is probably some of the most healthy soil that I've ever had. Guys, I've put leaves, leaf mulch, you know, clippings out of my yard. Uh, uh, ashes out of the wood heater. I put manure in here. I don't know it. The stuff has been dumped in here over the years, and that's some of the most healthy soil that I ha I have ever had in my life. My big gardens and stuff. I couldn't afford to do what I do here. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys this little implement right here. That's what I break it up with the first time. And this is just a little, that's just a little three and a half horse Briggs and Stratton, 1974 model, I think. So, gets the job done. And guys, if you've got a little small place, you can find you a little tiller like this. Just give you an, give you an idea of what you can do. So guys, I just thought I'd just do this little quick video and show y'all kindly how I do my little garden here at home. And so anyway, guys, y'all have a great day. I hope you great success in gardening this year. Get those plants growing. It's just about that time. Have a great day, guys.